What is going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about multi-generational housing and how this is going to affect the future of care. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show me some love. Appreciate y'all in your support on this channel. Seriously, like if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be doing this every single day because I feel like I do this all the time <laughs> and I'm getting sick and tired of hearing myself, you know, but it's because of you and it's because of just how passionate I am about adult daycare and the future of the senior care world that I just, I got to share my beliefs, my heart with you guys. And so one of the topics that I really want to dive into is just helping you to understand the effects of multi-generational housing. So multi-generational housing is really when three or more generations are living under one household. So this could be like, and this is why they talk about the sandwich generation. Cause you have, you know, an adult child taking care of their aging parents, maybe. And then you also have maybe where they're also taking care of their kids or kids move back in after college and they have both of, you know, there's three generations all under one roof. And what's crazy is actually back in 1980 was when the United States was at the lowest uh, point. And, and if you think about this, this is the eighties, this is when all the, like, like all the boomers were like living the American dream. You know, if you think about the eighties, you know, this is when everyone kind of ventured off to go, you know, you know, pursue the American dream and purchase their own home. And, you know, they moved away from family and they just went and did their thing. And, and this was like the, like literally like the lowest time in history that we had, you know, multi-generational housing, because all of a sudden housing became an affordable thing because it was financed and people could purchase their own homes and because of where technology was and where the you know manufacturing was with vehicles you know people just spread out and they just went and explored and tried new things and so from 1980 though to 2016 and even to this day i think the latest report is that multi-generational housing has now increased to over 22 percent of u.s households are now living in a multi-generational house which is a massive increase from just 12 percent in 1980 and so i think if you look at just the the statistics and where we're going going forward i mean how many people today are going to be able to afford a home in america right i mean just in the last year alone housing prices have almost doubled which is putting significant pressure on the average person being able to buy their own home i mean how many people out of college are going to be able to afford a three or a four hundred thousand dollar house and when you look at the inventory for a three hundred thousand dollar house today it's not a house that you would want <laughs> you know it might be a house with a carport it might be in a bad area it might you know like it's, it's not even a house that you desire to have anymore back in the day this was not a problem but in today's world with inflation with cost of living where we are that's the reality and so i think you're going to see more and more families having you know, almost being forced to live together in order to make ends meet and to make it work in america and what's that what that's going to do is you're going to have a generation the baby boomer generation who's probably never going to retire and a lot of them might be caring for their aging parents right now especially like the younger baby boomer generation they're going to be caring for their aging parents more than likely what's going to happen is mom and dad are going to get to a point where they need a little help and they're going to take a they're going to look at the situation and realize like well you know one you know we are struggling financially mom and dad don't have maybe maybe they're not able to afford assisted living they're like why don't we do this mom why don't we sell your house because that's an asset that maybe you've paid down uh, and you can take some of the equity out and why don't you guys come and you move in with us and we'll share the cost of our current home it'll put us into a much better financial position and and it'll allow us to live you know and kind of have some discretionary spending and not feel like all of our money is going to pay our house and our car payments and so what's going to happen is now you're going to see more and more baby boomers moving in with their adult parents or and, and maybe even the baby boomers that are maybe older baby boomers having like their kids who never moved out of their house are still living with them but you're gonna have this like co-living you know multi-generational household that at some point in time when the family or when the you know aging parent is in need of care and the adult child is still working they're still working a 40-hour work week maybe it's from home maybe they're going to a workplace but they're going to need a place for their mom and their dad 
uh, maybe even their spouse to be during the day while they continue working in a place that they know their loved one is going to be safe and a place that they know their loved one's going to be enjoying themselves and a place that they feel comfortable bringing their loved one or they feel comfortable, you know, their loved one being picked up to go to this place. And this place is going to be an adult daycare center. And it may not be the adult daycare centers that you can think of now or the ones that you might you know, be aware of that are currently in the marketplace, but it's going to be the future. And there is going to be a tidal wave of new adult daycare, like styles, new adult daycare concepts that are going to come to market and are going to service this need. And this is why I am so incredibly proactive or so optimistic about the adult daycare landscape is the fact that it provides you know, the perfect solution for, you know, your aging parents or spouses where you're trying to help keep your mom or your dad or your spouse in the home together as a household. And this is going to be the best solution to buy additional time before you might have to make that move into assisted living or into, you know, a nursing home. And the beauty about it is, is it's going to be half the cost of bringing a private caregiver into the home. And this is going to be a massive added benefit to families because a lot of families now working from home will be able to continue working from their home without the distractions because their kids might be at work for the day or their kids' kids might be in daycare for the day and their mom or their dad who needs care is in their a uh, senior adult daycare center for the day and they have the home to themselves to work on whatever it is that they need to work on uh, whether it's like i said working from home or maybe they go to work either way the reality of it is is it is going to provide the perfect respite to help people and families get by during this stressful time and what we're going to see is well, i think we're going to continue to see an increase in multi-generational households from just where we are today at 22% to the upwards of 35 and 40%, we're going to see historic changes in the way we live simply because of the cost of living. And this is just the beginning and adult daycare is going to change this landscape in a massive way. And we are just on the kind of cusp of what is going to be one of the largest changes in the senior care landscape. Adult daycare is the future of senior care. It will be the number one solution for families taking care of their aging parents and taking care of their mom or their, or, or sorry, or spouses taking care of their husband or their wives. But it's going to take a lot of education. It's going to take a lot of grassroots efforts, you know, sharing this knowledge, educating the consumer helping them understand what options are available to them. And so this is why, this is why I think it's so important that we raise these concerns. We get out there and we talk to people and we educate the public and allow and help them understand that this option even exists and that this option is available in their area. And if it's not, it will be one day because active age is coming to a city near you. And if you'd like to open your very own active agent, be a part of this revolution in the adult daycare space, make sure you go to adcpro.com to learn more. We got monthly webinars. We got, you know, we put out videos almost every single day on YouTube. We have a private Facebook group and we're here to transform the future of senior care, adult daycare. Here we come. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here and make sure you subscribe to our channel, click here. We'll see you guys next time.